I'm back with more observations. Everybody's talking about it. Some are trying to do something about it. Why does time feel like it's flying by too fast? Another observation. More than ever, reading a novel is at a huge level of acceptance. Have you ever wondered while reading where novels actually came from? My name is Arrow. I'm a daily writer, a silent wolf. I stand on the sidelines and do nothing but watch, listen, study, then activate. I call it the Daily Mass, a chronological walk through an everyday world. Yes, it's my morning writing. As a receiver of thoughts and ideas, we as people tend to throw things to the side and deal with it later. If we remember, when a subject arrives inside of me, I know it's time to dig in. It's still keeping that daily journal. But by doing the research, the pictures become clearer. This is the Daily Mess. Observation number 94. It can't be just me. Time is moving too fast. Is that even possible? The answer is no. But there are several reasons why you feel like time is moving too quickly. The physical act of looking back at your life gives off the scent and image of time being out of control. Experts also say that routine changes will mess up the ticks on a clock in a heartbeat. Once again, when there's change, we're always looking back at where we once stood. Other factors that give time speed include brain absorption of images. All of those pictures you have, you look at them on TikTok, Instagram, X, and Facebook. The brain is convinced that time is out of control. Now, if you want to slow down time, stop spending so much time digesting photos. We're also very guilty of comparing a current moment with our entire life. The goal should be to enjoy your moments of what is happening in your right now. That's how you stay grounded and you slow down time. Slowing down time also requires taking a different road to work. Avoid the typical routines and stop watching so much TV. Coming up next, novels. Those books we read all year long. Where did they even start? Hey, thanks for coming back to The Daily Mess. Observation number 94. I'm blessed with the opportunity to share a lot of conversations with today's most successful book authors. Writing books had to start somewhere. Who wrote the very first novel? That book was titled The Tale of Jenny. It was pinned out by a woman by the name of Marasaki Shikabu. She was a lady-in-waiting at the Imperial Japanese Court. She's credited for inspiring other Japanese women to open their creative thoughts onto a page. The first published poet was Azumi Shikabu. People were touched by her melodic words of love. The writing period we're talking about is called Hayam. It was followed by the Kamakura era, where women found themselves in lower positions under the fundalistic government, which means fewer opportunities for women to write. That's when words and paragraphs were printed onto the page by men, and oh my, did the writing style change. Rather than writing touching novels and beautiful poetry, the men, they chose to put their printed words out there about war. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.